to see it. Even though I can't technically see you. It is almost lunchtime. Technically, it's just 11 o'clock. So it's not technically lunchtime, but we are about to eat lunch. Kids are outside in the front yard playing, grounding, so that's nice. It just feels amazing outside today. It's just like, it's, I don't know, it's probably 70 degrees right now. Nice and cool, but still warm in the sun. Feels good. So lately I have been, I started carb cycling at the beginning of this month and my gut issues are just need to be addressed. I have been going a few days without using the bathroom and then when I, I go to the bathroom, it just runs right through me. It's like emptying out everything. So I know something is not right. Um, my skin is showing it as well. So I've got like some breakouts pretty bad. Um, the scalp uh, is itching every now and then. So what I'm about to eat for lunch is some chicken soup. There's no noodles in it, so it is gluten free, but it's just got vegetables and some chicken and some chicken broth in it, some salt. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch. And then I'm also going to let you guys know how I do with my very first rabbit. So yesterday I actually watched a rabbit get its life ended, which is not fun. I think my face was like this the entire time. There's a possibility that I will have rabbits on our homestead and I don't want animals on our homestead that are not going to have a purpose. So anyways, I'm gonna try out this rabbit that was given to me from some friends at, from their homestead. And so I've never cooked rabbit. They said it tastes similar to chicken. For, so I've never cooked a rabbit. Um, I've never eaten rabbit. So we're gonna check that, try that out. And I'll probably do that after lunch because I'm just starving right now. I don't really feel like dealing with something that I've never made. I have to say mentally, I'm not really ready for eating rabbit just because it says rabbit and I've never had rabbit. The first time that I had beef heart, my stomach kind of turned just because in mid chew as I'm eating this and actually enjoying it, thinking it's steak, my husband informs me that it was beef heart and my stomach just kind of turned just because of the thought of the name of what I was eating it had nothing to do with the flavor or the texture or anything like that. So now I'm, I'm good with beef heart. I still have to like mentally check myself when I go to eat it because it's just out of the ordinary. That's how I kind of feel about this rabbit. So anyways, I'm going to fix our lunch and then figure out how to fix this. And I think that's probably what we're going to have for supper tonight. Oh, See, see. Yeah, okay, Are you, you got your book picked out? All right, I just realized I cannot have you on camera. You do not have your PJs on all the way. Okay, so we're gonna eat, not eat, we're gonna read your book and then we're gonna take a nap. And then when you wake up, we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, okay? When we come back, we can order this puppy. Yeah, when we come back. All right, you ready to read it? Mikey, you gonna come over here and read with us? You gonna come read a book with us? All right. You wanna get your book? Brown bear book? It's behind you. On the floor. There you go. Bring it over here. Let's read it. Scoot the puppy over onto your lap. Put the puppy on your lap so we can read your book. Um, it's my bomber book. Okay, well, we'll share it. All right, you ready? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at you.
just laid the kids down for a nap. They are not asleep, so we'll see how this goes. I ended up getting interrupted. Um, I did clean the kitchen up just a little bit, but I'm going to try a recipe from Pinterest. It's cooked a rabbit in wine and garlic sauce. I don't have any wine, so I'm going to see if I have any white wine vinegar. I do not. I don't have any white wine vinegar. Doesn't seem that my sister does either, but she does have honey, which we are out of. So I'm going to call her really quick and see if we can borrow her honey. Hey, I'm about to cook up this rabbit. Would you care if I borrow some of your honey? No, that's fine. I don't use it anyway. Okay. Uh, I don't think it'll take a whole lot, but I need something to glaze it with, so I'm going to try that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll yeah. let you try some when you get home. I'm right here. I'll be hungry. All right. See ya. Yeah, bye. Bye. Okay. So I am allowed to use her honey. So... I'm just going to make up my own stuff. So pretty much, first off, I have to cut the rabbit up, and then we're going to pan sear it. So let's do it. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm supposed to cut this rabbit up. It's still a little frozen. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's a whole rabbit. Okay, so it said to cut it into four sections. So it says it's supposed to be pretty easy to cut. If I had a sharper knife. Um, okay, let's try this again. The meat is pretty easy. It's the bone. <laughs> this is kind of gross. Taking off the front leg, it kind of looks like a chicken wing. <laughs> Alright, so there's one. Two. Another one. Oh my gosh, I'm having a really hard time cutting this up. I need a sharper knife. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, that worked. Let's tear it apart. Ugh, here the bones breaking. That's gross. Here are four parts. <laughs> Not really sure what to do. This has a lot of meat on it. I feel like you should be able to like oh God. I've never cut up a whole chicken either, so. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have that done, I am going to use my iron skillet that 
already has some grease going on in there. And I'm going to pan sear the rabbit in some butter. I'm also going to preheat the oven. I'll have to go back and see exactly how long it's supposed to do that, but yeah, so I'm gonna get the butter. Change my mind a little bit. So what I am doing a recipe, I never follow to a T the whole recipe because usually I don't have all the ingredients. So kind of like mixing recipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan sear the rabbit meat first in some butter, add some spices. I don't know what I've got in the cabinet. And then I'm going to pop it into the oven for 30 minutes and let it cook. We'll see how this turns out. Um, rabbit is supposed to be very similar to chicken so it's really hard to mess up chicken except you can get it too dry so we'll see how this goes sun is coming up are you ready to go we can take a ride we can take it slow your will is my law i'ma let you be the boss cause i'll go where you go It's done. I've cut it open. It's not pink inside. So here is taste tester. Bron is not here. Nobody else is here. I'm gonna try it out myself. The good thing is it looks like chicken. So in my head, it's not like super gross. Smells good. Smells like chicken. It's not bad. It's a little dry. It's a lot of dry. Hmm. I think it's probably the way I cooked it. I'm not the greatest at cooking chicken unless we fry it like chicken legs so maybe this would be good like fried like chicken legs it doesn't taste bad like it tastes like chicken it's just dry so that's what we'll be having for supper tonight <laughs> hopefully the rest of the family likes it we are finishing supper so we just got home from the pumpkin patch but Sayla, do you like the rabbit? You like to eat it? Is it yummy? <laughs> Babe? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's good. You good? Uh-huh. I like it. Do you think it tastes like chicken? Or do you think it has its own unique taste? Yeah. I don't know. It tastes, it tastes like chicken. It most reminds me of like a really lean pork. Like a, I could see that. Yeah. I think it's probably it the honey that you're tasting, though. Maybe. It's a little sweet. And this little dude didn't get any. And this little piggy went, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> okay, so last question. Should we raise rabbits to eat on our farm? Yes? We need to really fatten them up. <laughs> Quit, Micah. Meat. Quit. More meat. More meat? More fat into them. Well, she said that they had let these live longer to see if they were, could get more fattier but she said she thought that their bones were just getting bigger so but maybe if we fed them a more vegetable based diet i don't know garden food we'll see anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you guys in the next one bye